Today is the day that we finally get the rest of the New England Mountains map unlocked, and if we can do anywhere near as good as we did last time, we'll be in good shape. I know these videos have been spaced out a bit, but if you don't recall, the last time that we came out here to this map, we shot, fittingly enough as we're looking at Whitetail, a Melanistic Whitetail buck scoring 224, making it our biggest Melanistic in almost six years of playing the game. And that, of course, was an initial spawn, just waiting for us out here on the New England mountains. So we shall see, as we move through the north part of the map that we've not explored yet, what we can find up there. We also have, I don't know how I missed this last time, an outpost in the far southwest. So we'll have to stop in there at some stage as well. I'm thinking that must have been a quail. We did have the tracks back there, but evidently starting with a little silver 160 scoring buck. And hopefully that's a good sign. Well, it turns out that probably was a quail. Missed it on the first shot, but managed to get it with the follow-up. Even though it was in the trees, we actually saw a lot of that blood spatter still. This is, by the way, one of the 20-gauge side-by-sides. I don't know that I love the camouflage pattern on this. Again, I'm really hoping for future, like, photorealistic camo options for the guns, but for now is what we have to work with. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Tracked a max weight black bear for quite some time, and it turns out it is a level 7. So we've got the 338 today. I can't even remember if I got the championship edition or the regular one, and you can't really tell when you have the custom colors on it. It is the championship. I think the only real difference, if you do customize it, would be the coloration of the ammo uh, sleeve on the stock. It's just slightly different from the regular variation, but I don't know, I think with this camo it looks alright. More or less dropped it on the run, I think that double lung shot, they they don't quite drop, but they only take a step or two. 21.2 is not a bad score, and we just got our first look out not too long ago, and I can't remember, we went up here on our first stream on the map, we didn't end up going all the way to the end of that road. There was a moose and some bears and stuff that we were chasing around, and I can't remember if there's an outpost here or not. It seems odd. I'll remove the waypoint so we can see a little bit better. Like, this road just goes up here and ends. All the way in this top corner, there's no outpost anywhere near here. So it would sort of reason that there could be one. I just can't remember for sure if there is. Looks like for our trouble coming up here, though, we have a couple of great fox, a level 3 female and a level 4 male. Now, our loadout's a little bit different today. We actually have the 22H, which I really like this orange camo on. I think that fits like a lower caliber weapon quite well. If we could just spot him again, he got perfectly hidden in there behind the brush. That's him there. And I'm at least hopeful that should be a lung. It looks like he's going to go down. There was a time when the 22H had really no range. 75 meters was about as far as you'd shoot it, but since the buff, it's actually not too bad. Looks to be a high bleed rate, and a vital hit right here, not too bad then. I wasn't exactly sure when he didn't drop, but I guess a 22H isn't necessarily always dropping Fox anyway. Single lung shot at that range, I do believe we have the, yeah, the soft point bullets, so more damage to the individual organ and less penetration. Got the job done there, no problem. And yet again, we've got a max weight estimate bobcat track, I always forget about them. On maps like this, I do this on Rancho often as well. I think the only class 3 weapon we have would be 20 gauge buckshot. Do the slugs count their class 4? So yeah, buckshot's the only thing we could use. We'll load it just in case. The good news is, if it's not a level 9, you can probably run close enough to a fleeing bobcat to get a shot in there. If it is a level 9, that could be tough. The Good news is, I don't think we're going to have to find out how the buckshot does. It's a mythical, and we're just going to hit it with the 7 mil rather than chasing it around the map with buckshot, trying to get a perfect shot in there. We can just do that and call it good. So, should we run into a level 9, I, I guess we can cross that bridge when we come to it. We can try to find a way to take it with buckshot, but maybe today is not the best day to see that. I just did not even consider class 3 as something to worry about here, but... The Bobcats are very much a part of the map, and this is... We're getting quite a few, like, max wood estimate ones that are not level 9s. We had the Troll in Early Access. This guy would have been a fairly low-scoring one anyway. 26 as a max wood estimate's not that huge, so that's all good. 
we've just got all kinds of max weight predator tracks today. Now a five to six kilo gray fox. I think that's him. He's actually a level seven. So not exactly the highest levels when we get these tracks, but at least we're finding some decent sized stuff. Can we get a lung shot in there? Probably not with soft points. I almost think we're more likely to be able to do it like that. Now, we didn't have to necessarily aim for the neck, but my idea was if we did just land that first shot and hit the neck, then we don't need to make the follow-up. I hope we got below the skull and, I mean, it's a level 7, so if we did hit the skull and ruin the gold, it's not a big deal. But that's something, whether it's raccoon dogs or foxes, when they're not a max level, it's a fairly doable shot. You get that quick follow-up in there during the hit animation, and in this case, that's not at all what happened. We actually clipped the lung the first time, and the second shot was too low. Well, you're supposed to do the opposite of that, but not a bad goal at 5.9. Not again. How does this always happen? A level 3 green wing deal, and it's gone. <laughs> like, there is no getting a shot at that. There's two lakes we could maybe work with? And it was kind of heading that way, so I guess we'll try to go and get the outpost and go set up for that. It seems like it always happens. I mean, in early access, we had the one that we actually got with the 22, but it was the same thing. They were way far away by the time we even saw them. And that's the first, like, big flock of green wing teal I've seen today. There's been a bunch of, like, solo ducks or maybe two or three kind of going by. That was a whole flock and had a pretty good one, and I think up to 537 or so. So, we'll, uh, we'll grab what we need here. We'll go and get set up, and you know what might be interesting? It's just going to be moose drink time. So we'll probably have a chance anyway at, like, shooting a moose from a duck blind. So now, with our setup pretty much ready to go, we have the decoys downwind from us, so in theory... The duck should land coming towards us. Now we get to wait and see if it actually comes back. At least as far as I can tell, the first flock here is not the right one. That's not necessarily saying for certain though, because I've had it before where I thought I spotted every duck and then the level three that I'm after shows up way late. So it's possible he's just avoided kind of flying by our reticle there, but I sure don't see him I'm trying to be extra patient with this one because it does seem like there are ducks just like continually showing up like I never even saw these two drakes get down here but I don't see a level three and I think it's probably best to just go ahead and shoot something to get this flock out of here so we'll try to get the two that are side by side we do have the 20 gauge today actually that would be ideal if we kind of try to do it now so that's the two I think that's the one I didn't actually see what we spotted and, I mean, for the heck of it, we'll take one more. And hopefully we'll make sure that we didn't mess up here. I'm fairly confident there was no level 3 in here. And hopefully then the next flock brings the one that we're after. That's our guy right there, up to 537. I was just about to shoot another teal. Yeah, that might be a problem. Some of them are landing really close. I don't know, though, because he's a part of a separate flock. I don't think he should be influenced by that, but he's landing way over there. I don't even know what to do. I mean, there's so many teal around. I thought he was, like, back there further, though. As long as they're not spooking, we can try to take our time and spot him. This may be a shoot him off the ground situation. If we can just figure out where he went. Some of them are taking off, though. The question is, is it the flock that he's with or not? He landed in, like, the worst spot I could imagine. Some are still around. I can hear them. I don't know if we try to get out. I can't imagine that would work. That's him right there, 50 meters away. I think we just got to take him with the 22H. I hate to, but it's a weird spot. The amount of ducks that are around and some were really close. I think we just got to get him dead. And, you know, it, it's not a part of our Reventuli thing, so I don't mind shooting him on the ground as much. For Reventuli, every bird species, I wanted to get the diamond out of the air. In this case, I'm pretty happy to take him on the ground, considering we already shot one out of the air in early access with the 22LR, but 
let's see. A diamond at 499. This is bizarre. The one in early access was 0 0.50 kg too. This one's bigger. I still believe max score is 500. What are the odds that that would happen? Pretty good deal. I mean, it didn't take that long. Probably three or four flocks. I don't think we've claimed everything. I want to say some are still laying there, but got them just about perfect with the 22 age. Maybe the first time we've shot a diamond duck with it, I don't know. But let's, uh, as some mallards have decided to join us, I wanted to run through and see if we had left anything. That's interesting. I guess they feed here? I really didn't have any mallards come through. That one's a brown hybrid. We'll just pop that one too. That way we can get everything out of the way and see if there was anything that I left. I may have actually gotten up and claimed them, I can't remember. But I thought the first two we shot were still laying over there. I think I saw one. That is a brown hybrid score in 10.8. Nothing incredibly special there. And then I believe this should be that level 2 and level 1 that we shot. 398? Oh, we shot... Oh my goodness. That could have been so bad. If we didn't use the 22H, we would have completely ruined that level 3. I totally forgot that we switched to Buckshot for that Bobcat. That could have been... <laughs> disaster. Crisis averted, I guess. My goodness, that could have been bad. Regardless, though, on that little shocking note, we did miss two outposts. I can't believe this. But I mentioned trying to go up here and look for one. We ran right by one. And I never saw it. Didn't see it when we ran past it either. Maybe we didn't get it until we unlocked this lookout. But I should have seen the little bit of ground light up when we got close enough. And then there's still the one in the bottom left. But we got all the lookouts. Both of these are within like a kilometer run of another outpost. So we can do that another time. I'm looking forward to throwing our new Diamond Green Wig Teal in the Trophy Lodge. And that leaves us once again from this map with only Bobcats as a missing diamond. And again, they're the same model, same score, same everything as the Mexican Bobcat. They are named different, and I did the same thing with Pumas and Mountain Lion. I considered another species that we have yet to get a diamond of. So good deal getting the Teal today. Almost max score and all. And just a lucky landing from disaster. I said in the moment that it was a bad spot that it landed in. Almost anywhere else we try it with a shotgun. And clearly, I hadn't claimed anything yet, or if I did, I didn't even recognize it. I would have been pretty upset if we shot that with Buckshot. That bug still exists, where it shows the Bobcat icon instead of the Green Wing Teal icon. But a 499 score, incredibly lucky that we got it. And, uh, yeah, go figure. Bobcat being the one diamond species we need, that's what's showing up on this icon. But it does cross that one off the list. I'm thinking, by the way, of trying to get a diamond duration teal on Verhunga. Because Revantuli's got so many duck species, and we saw it there with the Mallards, just because you're set up for a certain species doesn't mean you won't have other ones coming in. So if we can maybe get the Widgeon on Verhunga, where they're the only waterfowl species, I think that might help. And it would leave us with just the geese and raccoon dog, I think, over there on Revantuli as well. So... Make a progress getting diamonds that we have never gotten before, at least not ones that we could keep. And, you know, finding new ways to do it. I don't think I've ever had that type of scenario where we had the wrong ammo loaded and shot it with a different gun. Really lucked out there. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.